Outdoor cooking is something I've always enjoyed from making bread or spaghetti bolognese in a Dutch oven, frying a full English breakfast on an open fire, making broths and stews in a pot and using the wood burner and the Winnowell oven. Cooking outdoors in a beautiful location is so rewarding. You really appreciate your food as you've had to work for it and it's long physical days that burn multiple calories. Cooking gives a great satisfaction for yourself but it's also an amazing chance to bond with people around you, sharing stories around a campfire with a nice meal. The meals you prepare can be as basic or technical as you make them. I've had a simple pot of rice on a hiking trail and it's felt like heaven. I've shot and processed a pheasant to make a stew. By doing that I've had greater respect for this beautiful bird and no food is ever wasted. Moreover, outdoor cooking is a skill, an art that should be practiced and respected and you can take it to whatever level you want and make it as personal and unique as you want designing and creating your own outdoor recipes. There is always so much to learn with cooking and so many recipes to be done in different styles of cooking. There are so many different designs and techniques and fire lays to go about it. This skill has taught me patience, creativity, consistency, and what you put in, you get out. It was believed that primitive man began to cook 250,000 years ago by tossing a raw piece of meat into the fire. Since then, people have evolved and designed primitive ovens, cast iron skillets and Dutch ovens, stainless steel bush pots, and lightweight non-stick frying pans. Sourdough and fresh bread is still a skill that remains. The sourdough starter has been around since 3700 BC. These starters can be made and can be carried on for years and years and passed down. As well as tradition and history, culture is connected and friendships are made. As much as it's stereotyped, Cooking is something everybody can do, including men. It is a vital skill for survival as our bodies aren't used to raw meat in this Western society. So anyway, I hope you can be inspired to go out and light a fire or light a wood burner, a barbecue, whatever your means of outdoor cooking is, and make a nice meal, whatever that is, whether you are a meat eater, a vegetarian, a vegan, whatever works for you and whatever food you enjoy, and mix it up, design your own recipe, make something that's unique and different. And also invite people to make food with and enjoy food with and share some nice memories and some nice food.
far aside And you say These are troubles of mine Very thoughts of breaking up Coming under your skin Don't know if we should stop or begin Cause I was there by your side With my eyes open wide And I know that we'll always be true There's no beauty in my style We try hard but we all so so lovely to be back. The wind is really strong out there and uh, it actually blew my camera over which I was really shocked about. But I've got my wood burner lit. Hopefully the flu will be alright in the wind. And I'm going to start preparing my apple pie. Right, so just a little update. Uh, I decided to come into the tent because that wind out there is horrendous. Everything was blowing around, including my camera. So I've decided to come in here and work next to the fire. I've made my pastry. I've just got to bake it blind and the apples are done. I boiled them on the wood burner and they are done now. So I'm just going to knead my pastry here and uh, Roll it out.
So I don't have baking beans with me here, so I've just used pasta as well. I use this each time I bake pastry and ice. And they work exactly the same as baking beans. Baking something from scratch outside has always had something really magical about it and it feels really wholesome. The fact that you know all the ingredients and you know the time and effort is taken to make that food product. Using this Winnerwell wood burner and the oven that comes with it has been absolutely amazing and has opened up so many, so many more doors in terms of different strategies for cooking and different ideas and recipes that I can make outside. This as well as a Dutch oven has just opened so many more doors and gives you a lot more opportunities, makes it more diverse for cooking. I think the winter that we've just come out of has been made so much more convenient and enjoyable thanks to this wood burner. I definitely used it every day without fail from heating up my tent, drying my stuff, cooking and boiling water and it's just ideal, absolutely amazing. When the weather is grim you can definitely get out of the conditions and come and hunker down in the tent with the burner on. It's definitely a morale booster and so is cooking nice food so yeah it's been so lovely and doing this is just so nice. Despite the grim weather, you can still come inside and cook really nice things.
the apple pie is in the oven and I'm looking forward to how it turns out. Unfortunately, I didn't have loads of pastry, so it is a bit skimp on the pastry and it's gone a slightly little bit too thin, but it doesn't matter too much. It's still gonna taste really nice, or hopefully anyway. It is super windy out there and I'm just keeping an eye on my wood burning flue. But just showed you the quality of it because that is some strong gusts out there and uh, it's coping really well. There it goes again. The whole tent's shaking. <laughs> Should be in about an hour or so. The temperature gauge really helps with cooking. It's just like an oven at home really. So it's really nice. And it's super warm in here nice and cosy while watching the elements outside. super nice apple pie is now done the pastry is a little thin on the top but it tastes really good I'm happy with how it tastes <laughs> 